Farah Hanum for MMA Junkie, and I'm joined by UFC featherweight champion Alexander Volkanovski. Alex, how are you? I'm very good. I'm very good. As good as you can be in these crazy times, but just keep them busy. Keep myself busy. Keep my, my myself focused, and just going day by day. And how are you going about uh, training in these times? Well, I've been uh, been doing a fair bit. Obviously, with the uh, training partners, you, you can't you know, get that type of training in. Like you know that the real specific MMA training. But you know, I'm still keeping fit. I'm doing a lot of strength and conditioning. Uh, because you never know. You never know what how, how quick this can turn around or whether this private island thing happens or, you know, you just don't know what's happening. So I'm trying to stay pretty ready because, uh, you know, I don't like sitting on the sidelines and it's been long enough, but, you know, I guess we have to worry about what, what's happening. So I'm, I'm keeping I'm keeping fit. I'm doing anywhere from two to three sessions a day. So I'm still strong. Uh, have you had any access to a gym or built your own home gym? Uh, how are you going about it? Man, I'm doing most of my workouts in the lounge room. No, no, no gym, <laughs> no gym at my place. But you know, I literally just use the lounge room. But you know, I've got a couple of uh, things that that you know, the kettlebells and skipping ropes and uh, mini bands and just a few things like that that uh, my strength and conditioning coach has built a program around. So it's been good. It's been, it's been working. Like I said, I'm still getting good good sessions in. I'm still doing hill sprints, and so my body's in pretty good nick. But uh, you know, just. Uh, just not that uh, contact sort of uh, training, that's all. And, and how's your hand? Are you like 100% uh, clear in terms of punching, grappling and all that stuff? Say that again, sorry, I missed that. No worries. Uh, I said, how's your hand? Are you like 100% cleared in terms of like uh, hitting mitts and grappling and all that? Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll be 100%. But this uh, coronavirus, the uh, you know, COVID-19 thing come around, Pretty much just as I was ready to get right back into training, like while I was uh, full ready to go, and so I haven't really got to to do do much of that type of training. But hey, it's one hundred percent. I'm not worried about it one bit. Like oh, I think I can. I'm literally one hundred percent. I can do whatever I want with it. It's not. Yeah, you know, I've got the confidence with it. Um, I'm sure if I had to, you know, punch a punch a face with it today, <laughs> it'd be fine. It would hold up all right. So it, it's all good. All right, that's great to hear. And uh, th there was some talk about you uh, rematching Max Holloway, UFC 251, June, obviously, before all this madness. How close was that to actually happening? Uh, I mean, I, I, you know, it just wasn't signed, but I, I know all parties, you know, the UFC. I know, yeah, I was happy with it. I'm pretty sure Max was happy with it. We just didn't get it done, probably, because we of what was happening. You know, they didn't want to lock nothing in if they didn't know, but, you know, we just... We still don't really know exactly what's happening, but you know it's not not looking good. You know, I'm not, I wouldn't. Uh, you know, I'm not going to try and uh, talk to the fight up because right now there's nothing happening. But uh, yeah, it wasn't lucky, but it was close. I know. I know that's the, the fight I wanted to have in Australia. I thought. I thought that. I still think that's the biggest fight for me. I still think that's the biggest fight for the division. I still think it's the biggest fight for the UFC. And uh, you know, if we can still make this uh, Aussie card happen uh, sometime this year, uh, you know, I, I believe that's uh, what the, the what the Australian fans deserve. A rematch, uh, you know, Max was a great champion and, you know, I proved myself once again in front of my home crowd. And yeah, that's what I was going to ask you because a lot of fighters are kind of throwing their name in the mix in terms of uh, filling in these cards that they're trying to put together that, that have, you know, April 18 has fallen apart and now they're they're looking at May 9. Are you interested at all in, in jumping in in these, one of these upcoming cards? Because obviously the, it's going to be pretty hard for you to leave Australia as things stand. Ah, look, I guess as long as they like, you know, give me a little notice, if they expect me to defend a, a belt on two weeks' notice or something, I, I, you know, it's pretty silly, but uh, I know they wouldn't, uh, they wouldn't do that. But, I mean, if they give me a little bit of notice and, and they can sort out, like I said, if this island thing is legit and they can get me on this island to do my camp and then fight, I'm all for it. Give me, give me a little camp there with, uh, with a bit of my, with my team, even if it's the uh, CKB boys. Even if we're all in the same car, we all do the camp with each other on the island, then we fight. 100%, I'll be down for that. I think that'll be unreal. But we just, yeah, we just don't know what's happening. I could say, yeah, that'd be cool, but but we just don't know. But if things, uh, you know, could happen, like say that all directions saying that was going to happen, I, I definitely would take it into consideration because I, I don't like sitting on the sidelines. I don't like, you know, sitting at home doing nothing. I need to make that money. Again, I do this for my family. And if uh, if I can fight, Within a couple of a couple of months, that'd be uh, that'd be unreal. So uh, I think, you know what, I think I would. 
And I was talking to Dan Hooker last week, and he was telling me that you guys had had a discussion about all of you, go, yeah, all of you guys going over to, to Fight Island, if that would be a possibility to, to get some training in together and then, like, get on the same card. So, yeah, that, is that what you're talking about? Like, if you'd be down, it wouldn't be exactly UFC, like, uh, Australia, but maybe your own version with, with your team? Yeah, I would definitely do that. That's something that I even said to him, I go, Let's make it happen. If this island's legit, organize it now. That's that's how I was. If if that was gonna, if that is a, is an option, that's that's a no brainer. If we can go to do camp together and be on the same card, be on the island, we can get to do the camp. Man, well, I don't, don't. There's no reason why you wouldn't do it. Like, I think that'd be unreal. Like fighting on a private island, you know that would <laughs> that would uh, that would be absolutely unreal. But I'm just saying, if it's just a filling card for a card that we don't even know is going to happen, you know, again, there's always going to be a, a few red flags there, but. I'd still take him into consideration with what's happening right now. And last time we spoke, uh, I, I think it was shortly after you won the title, uh, you were talking about how you felt like the, the other featherweights kind of needed maybe one or two more wins to cement themselves as number one contenders. And, and you're one of the latest ones to fight, funny enough. I think only Kareem Zombie maybe fought a week after you. What, I'm, what I mean to say is that nobody fought in January, February, or March. Like The picture hasn't gotten clear. Has that made the decision to rematch Max easier for you, considering that uh, none of these guys didn't take that one more fight that could have uh, potentially uh, intrigued you or changed your mind on, on who could be next? Yeah, that's exactly what it is. I was saying that from pretty much straight away. I believe that they're one fight. All of them, there's like four of them that are probably one fight away from getting a title shot. I really do believe that. Uh, but it's just... You know, again, with all what's happening, and, and that's what I was telling them, mate, these guys fight each other. I guarantee you, everyone's screaming, that, screaming their name, saying they're the guy that they're the guy that should get the shot. And all fingers we pointed at them to get that shot, but I just it didn't happen. And you know, even though I, I believe I won, uh, you know, the fight pretty convincingly. Well, you know, I did win that fight convincingly. Uh, I still think you know Max is a great champion, and that did make my decision easier. I thought, you know what, there's no one else that, you know. Again, when I when I won that belt, I said I'm I'm going to be a great champion. I'm going to give the guys the number one contenders their shot, like they like I got mine. Like Max gave me that chance, and no one really stepped up to the plate and tried to take a fight like it like I did. I was trying to take out all the number one contenders, whoever I could fight that'll put me in the number one spot where no one could take it away from me. That's what I done. I expected them. I thought someone would have done it. They didn't. They missed their chance. So. All fingers are pointing at Max Holloway right now. So, and I still think that's the biggest fight. Again, if they fought, you know, uh, whoever it was, Korean Zombie, Ortega, Zabit, you know, they fight, that probably would have been the biggest fight. That would have been the fight everyone wanted. So that would have made a lot of sense to me. But right now, none of them fights make sense. Max is a great champion. He does deserve the rematch. So I'm happy to give it. I think it's the biggest fight for the division. I think it's the biggest fight for the UFC, and the biggest fight for myself. Nice. And in these turbulent times, if they manage to get you over to, to, to Fight Island and this happens and you get some training in and they offer you somebody else, uh, would you take it or would you rather just wait uh, maybe until the, the, the last like uh, quarter of the year where things uh, boil over and hopefully get better? I uh, mean, it's, it, it's that for you. Fight Island, it, it sounds uh, pretty good. <laughs> so I guess I'd... So I guess I would, man. Like, you know what I mean. And again, I'm, I'm the whole world will be watching. Mm-hmm. You know, we'll be like the only athlete to be, you know, pretty much doing doing their thing. So it'll be a hard, you know, it'll be a hard opportunity to miss. So I would, I definitely wouldn't uh, wait wait all year for it. So, but I reckon, I reckon uh, Max uh, is probably staying ready. So if that happens, I still think that's that's a that's a fight that that could happen. Well, I hope he is because I'm staying ready. So if something, something comes up and there's an opportunity that's realistic, I hope we can get it done. And like you said, you know, your first performance against Max, uh, it was great performance because essentially you shut him out and, and he's known for his volume and his pressure and his activity and he overwhelms guys. And you kind of put a halt to all of that. Uh, how do you top the first performance? That, that's exactly how it was, you know, uh, He's he's a great fighter. You know, I got a lot of respect for him as a fighter. So does my team. We gave him the respect he deserves. That's why I had to go with that game plan. I still think, you know, I yeah, I could have I could have got the finish. I still I still believe that the finish is there. I still think if, if we fight again, I've got the feeling now, and I'm going to go out there and, uh, and and finish him inside the fight uh, definitely. But 
you know, I, I done what I had to do. You know, the I didn't get the finish, unfortunately, but I mean, it, it's still, you know, to go out there and shut Max out like that and win, you know, out striking, he's really setting a statement. You know, that, that, you know, if anyone knows the game, they know that not many people can actually go out there and do that. So that, that's, uh, that's saying something. But I believe, uh, I believe that next time we, we face it, if, if that match happens, I'm finishing him inside the, inside the, the fight 100%. And what do you make of uh, Henry Cejudo issuing a challenge to you? What do I think of Henry Cejudo with what, sorry? Uh, issue, like challenging you, like saying that he, that, that he wants to... Oh, yeah, yeah. It seems like he's challenging everyone, but he's number one contender. So, you know, <laughs> whatever. Yeah, but look, I, 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 think, I think good on him. You know what I mean? If you're, you're calling me out, all right. But, you know, I still think he should be focusing on his division and his number one contenders. It literally looks like he is getting everyone but the number one contenders, which is, that's something that... I find, uh, you know, I, I think uh, that's just uh, embarrassing. I really do believe that. I think it is cringe. He's living up to his name when he when he's going out and doing uh, doing them sorts of things. But again, if I wouldn't mind shutting him, shutting his mouth up, to be quite honest. But right now, I've got a division that I want to I want to hold. And again, he's just trying to trying to hold on to that band and weight belt. So if he moves up, he knows I'll kick his ass, but he still gets to hang on to, to that uh, band and weight belt a bit a bit longer. So. You know, if he's gonna if he's gonna be like that, I don't think he deserves that chance. But you never know. If he if he fights and keeps running his mouth, and no one else uh, is ready for a fight, and that's what fights in front of me, I think I'll do uh, the world uh, a, a good favor by uh, something much. And would, do you think you'd ever be able to make thirty five? Like, do you ever think a move down to bantamweight is in the horizon for you? I think I could. I reckon it's definitely possible. It's, like, I don't think it'd be... Uh, it would be pretty hard. Like, uh, it would be a proper cut. But, I mean, it's definitely doable. But I wouldn't put that myself uh, through that. You know what I mean? I just think it's... Uh, yeah, I just wouldn't do it. You know what I mean? I, I'm, I'm too strong for the featherweight division anyway. I don't need to move down. And I don't want to do that to my body. You know what I mean? I just... <laughs> um, you know, I just think it's... Uh, too much for the body. You know, I'm getting... I'm, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm getting old, but I mean... Dieting for 12 weeks straight like that, I just said, uh, nah, I can just cruise in this featherweight division because I'm still stronger than everyone, I believe. So I, I, I'm, I'm happy to just chill here. But again, I wouldn't mind shutting Henry Cejudo up, so maybe I do do that 12-week uh, dieting just so I can tell him up. You never know. You never know. <laughs> I, won't, I, won't shut down, uh, I won't shut down all all these things. But again, uh, I believe that featherweight to my division, if I was going to another division, it would probably be up. But if I had to go down, I could do it. And uh, you never know. Fair point. I'm going to leave you with uh, one last question. I appreciate your time. How confident are you that the Max Holloway fight happens within the next month or two? Uh, honestly, yeah, honestly, I don't know. You know, I don't know the next month or two. Uh, I really do want it to happen. You know, I want to, I want to tell people, yeah, yeah, it's happening. But, you know, it just... Just with everything that's going on, you know, the, just knowing that all these other fights are getting cancelled and postponed within the next couple of months, I don't know. But if it, if if we can get in the next couple of months, I know I can get I can be prepared. So I'll be ready. So if the opportunity does come, be sure that I, I will be in there. But do I reckon it's going to happen? Maybe not. <laughs>